Commuters heading downtown are stuck in a transit nightmare for the foreseeable future. The deadly partial collapse at the government center parking garage has shut down train service. Inspectors are worried about the tunnels on the orange and green lines. Until they're sure that they're safe, shuttle buses will be running between North Station and Back Bay and between North Station and Government Center. WBZ reporter Julie McDonald is live tonight for us. And Julie, how did the evening commute work out? Well, David, we watched a lot of packed shuttle buses pull in, and people said it was too cold to walk between stops today, understandably. So a lot of frustration among commuters tonight, but really nothing can compare to the pain of a local family who, like all of us do, surely assumed that their loved one would return home from work. The family of Peter Monsini shared this photo of the 51-year-old, smiling, happy, and relaxed. His shocked loved ones tried to find the right words, remembering him in a statement as a loving son, brother, father, uncle, and friend. He was full of life, passionate, thoughtful, and will be missed deeply. Monsini was the construction worker killed Saturday in a demolition accident at the government center parking garage. Tons of debris came crashing down. Now the MBTA tunnels below must be carefully inspected. Shuttle buses have replaced service near Haymarket Station and government center. Go down to Park Street, then go from Park Street to the, the shuttle, shuttle from here. It's just really cold outside, so I certainly wish it could be accounted for a little bit better. But It just took me two hours to get here from uh, where I was in, in Roxbury. What should it have taken you? Oh, probably about half hour. It's no easy fix to restore service because this investigation will be incredibly complex. The tunnels are more than 100 years old and covered in grime. A crack showing up inside might mean there's worse issues on the outside that you just can't see. Late Monday, packed buses kept pulling in near North Station. Even after two shuttles and three trains, this rider pointed out it could be so much worse. And I can't help but think of Ukraine and people losing their homes and being inconvenienced. It's, it's really sad. Now these uh, shuttle uh, shuttles running and service disruptions are expected to last several days. The governor today asked commuters for their patience and expressed his condolences to the victim's family. Live in Boston tonight, I'm Julie McDonald, WBZ News. Just so sad. All right, Julie. Thank